in this session uh, we're going to be talking about deadlocks so here we have a couple of sessions again so connecting uh, connected to the same database there's two sessions two different sessions so let's say that we are working with uh, products table right so we have seen this table before in my previous sessions basically this table has information about the products that are being sold on uh, you know an e-commerce website so we have a couple of records over here you know we're going to first uh, let's say uh, you know a seller comes to actually update the quantity of this product basically let's say if he wants to increase the quantity by 25 for this first book this is the command that he is you know that's going to be executed uh, you know whatever buttons he's clicking will be translated to an update command like this right and uh, let's say like a different person from the same company wants to update the price of this book not this book let's say we have the other book I'm just actually using the product ID to you know update the, the right product right so we have one session where seller one is updating the quantity of this item we have another session where we are updating the uh, price of this item and then if you see the price is incremented by two let's say two dollars and this is fine right so now we have row level locks so this guy is holding a row level lock on this row and this guy is holding a row level lock on this row so this is fine right so we are operating on two different records two different uh, locks uh, independent of each other all good so now let's say uh, the same seller the second person who is updating uh, the price wants to update the price of this other book too actually like he is actually increasing the price again by two dollars of this book the product ID equals one which book this one right here let's go ahead and try to increment the uh, price by running this command you know he's waiting on uh, waiting for the lock actually exclusive lock and that's not available because this seller has not committed actually it is not committed so let's actually go back here and and this seller at the same time tries to update the price of or quantity of this book so two sessions are fighting for pretty much the same resource you know we ended up in a deadlock situation so mysql was sm smart enough to just kill the session otherwise we would have two sessions waiting for each other endlessly right so here you can see the error code that is thrown it says deadlock found when trying to get lock and try restarting the transaction so let's go ahead and query the the products table and see how it looks you can see that uh, this whole transaction was rolled back correct the, both the transactions were rolled back this even this one uh, was rolled back so i think that lock was also killed so that's why this this one went through and if you can see the prices have increased by two dollars right because initially it was 16.99 and 20.39 and here 18.99 and 22.39 okay so that's how it works okay this is a typical deadlock situation i hope this explanation was clear and i will see you guys in my next session